friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe this unedited real time routine surgery this is a fake emulsification of a soft cataract this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus i always include some capillaries in my incision there should be a little bleeding it means the neutrophils the first line of defense can reach easily to the site if there are some bacteria trying to infect a site port has been made now capsulorexis i can see quite clearly so i didn't stain in the anterior capsule it may appear a little hazy but under microscope it is quite clear and now capsulorexis is being done at this time the eyeball moved and i came out and this is a small rexis maybe about 5 mm maybe 4.75 mm and the rexis is not exactly central it is little eccentric uh, shifted towards the 7 o'clock a little bit now i fill up the anterior chamber with visco and now since this is a soft cataract nowadays i'm using a pre chopper to divide this nucleus in the back with this pre chopper and sustainer we don't have to prolapse the nucleus out of the bag and risk the corneal endothelium not even a single cell of corneal endothelium will be damaged in this technique because we have divided the nucleus in the bag and in premium cases this is a very good technique and most of the premium uh, iol surgeries belong to soft cataract category and now just we have to go inside and remove the pieces see there is no struggling so the pieces are already there waiting for us to be consumed and this is a hemineucleus so just go to the other side with the ball tipped chopper my dear friend netos uh, brand is the brand ambassador of this chopper a ball tip and a rounded tip a rounded body and he is a much longer uh, chopper about 2 mm or 2.25 mm epineucleus also removed this is a little uh, prolapse or incarceration of the iris in the side port because my side port is little wider than the my colleagues i make a side port which is about 1.7 mm so that a seam co can go easily i advise my junior colleagues to do a small side port first and uh, if they can manage with small side ports about 1.3 mm or 1.4 mm it is fine but don't stress the side port if we stress the side port it is much more damaging than a little wider side port now go to 23 goes simco and clean the cortex remove the sub incisional cortex the little cortex at 1 o'clock is removed going through the main port this simco is attached to a separate bottle and a separate drip set so the assistant don't have to change it and attach to the feco uh, irrigation uh, tube and now by this time the uh, irrigation aspiration cannuli are ready and I just remove little cortex from 12:30 o'clock and did a little bit hydro polish and now is the time to enter uh, to implant an intraocular lens this is a 2.2 mm compatible cartridge from johnson and johnson and a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens goes through the incision and uh, here the lens is in the bag and 
nicely centered lens. See, the rexis is eccentric, but the lens is central because the haptics are uh, uh, getting support to the equator of the back. So, it is the wrong idea that if the rexis is not central, the intraocular lens will not be central. It is a wrong idea. If the bag is having equal support all around by the jonule, even if the rexis is little eccentric, the intraocular lens will be very nicely centered. This is my observation over the last 20 years. Now, we are going to complete this surgery. We have to check the integrity of the wounds. There should not be any leakage from any side. Uh, here we conclude this surgery. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will give some insight into the rexis, whether it is eccentric or central. Thank you once again.